Hi there, my name is Mike Baldwin and uh, I've been teaching plant identification and horticulture and landscape construction for over 35 years and uh, what we're going to do in this course, this plant identification course over the next few weeks is to try and help you learn lots of different ways and skills to improve your plant identification. Um, so there'll be something different each week and if you click on the link below there's a challenge okay so you can do a little test to see how you're getting on but uh, hopefully you'll be able to identify lots of lovely trees like this lovely Quercusuba this is the cork oak behind me I used it at Chelsea Flower Show in 1999 in a garden and you'll be able to go around identifying lots of different plants so why not join me on the course uh, they're all free and uh, you can just uh, hopefully improve your ident skills. I uh, hope you enjoy it. So we start off with a compound palmate or digitate leaf, just like the palm of your hand. We have a chordate leaf. A chordate leaf is heart-shaped at the base. The deltoid leaf is triangular, just like your deltoid muscles, just on the side of your shoulder, that triangular shape. Then we have cuneate, and cuneate is a wedge shape. Then we have lancelate. Think of a lance that a knight might have held, long and tapering thin. Then we have obovate. So this is like an uh, oval. It has a slightly lumpy bit in the middle, a sort of a sort of obtuse bit, then going into an ovate part. So uh, it's a slight bulge on it, if you like. Then we go for orbicular. So think of orbit. When trying to remember orbicular, it goes round quite a big leaf orbicular. And then we have ovate, just like an oval. And then there is trilobe, which means three lobes. Then we have pennate, which you can see there's two rows of leaves opposite. Then we have the beautiful reniform, like the kidney. Think of renal artery, renal vein, kidney shape, the, the renal unit feeds the kidney. Then we have the rhomboid, like a rhombus, like it's a square pushed over on its side. Sometimes you get rhomboidy folia. And then we have spatulate, like a spatula. So think of a, a spatula spoon for picking things up in cooking or in medicine, where you're trying to pick up a, a powder or something. It's a spatulate, like a spatula. And we have the lovely trilobed, so let's have a look and see how you can get on with these. So what do you think the first one is? You can see that we have here the hellebore, which has got the digitate or compound palmate leaf. This one you can see it's got a heart-shaped base like the lime, tilia. On this one you can see it's got the deltoid leaf like a poplar. And this one's got a wedge shape, cuneate, like these Daphne's. On this one's got a lanceolate leaf, like a willow. Or maybe a pyroslicifolia pendula, the weeping silver pear. This one's got an obovate or ovate, which is on the cotinus. Then you've got the orbicular one. This is like a sorbus leaf. Or you could say even some of the corallus hazel-like leaves are quite orb orbicular. Then we have the simple ovate leaf, like a cherry prunus. And we have the lovely trilobed, like a viburnum. Or it might be a physocarpus or rhymes. And then we have the pinnate leaf. Think about things like the ash tree has a pinnate leaf. Or it might be a sorbus, one of the mountain ash type ones. Then there's the reniform one. Think of it like the circus, the Judas tree. And there's a rhomboid one. There you've got your spatulate one. And we've got trifoliate, like the choice your tonata. Tonata actually means leaves in threes. And there you've got uh, an acer as well, like an acer nigundo leaf. 
So if you like the videos on plant identification, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button and there'll be another one out uh, next week so you can sort of build your plant identification knowledge. See you next time.